Welcome to Nate Supercoach for 2024. This video is the round three team selection, or as the video title suggests, thank you Chris Fagan. If you're new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Let's get stuck into it. All right, so here's how my side's looking before trades. Now, as the title of the video says, thank you Chris Fagan. Um, the decision to have Jared Lyons out has made my trades measurably easier this week. I was really umming and umming and ahhing, and I really didn't know what to do. I uh, was tossing up a few ideas whether I don't trade at all, whether I use my first boost, whether I just use two, who do I trade at, do I get rid of Young, all sorts of things like that. So with the news that Jared Lyons is out, that has um, solidified my plans essentially. So what I'm thinking of doing is the following. I'm going to trade... Sexton, who's on the buy. Now, ideally, he's still got a, like a minus six break even, so he is going to make money, but he's on the buy this week. It's the only way I can facilitate this trade here. So uh, I'm going to trade Sexton out of the forward line, and I'm going to bring in a guy who's not on the bubble. So we're going to have to wait an extra week for him to make some coin, but I'm fairly sure he will make some coin. And we're going to bring in Sam Darcy from the Bulldogs. Okay, so that's the first trade I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to trade out Lions, who's not playing. I just don't have the patience to be holding Lions. When is he going to play this week? When is he going to use the sub? I, I just have no time for that. So we are going to do a bit of DPP magic here. So I'm going to sub Wilson. Uh, yeah, Wilson from the forward line up to the midfield there. And then we're going to trade in the flavor of the month, Tom Powell from North. Looks like his midfield role is there. So I'm going to complete those trades. Okay, so Sexton lines out for Darcy and Powell. One up, one down, essentially. Let's have a look at what the team looks like now. Once this loads. We'll give us a bit of picture of how we how we sit. All right. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to make a few little adjustments. I'm going to sub Dempsey for Flanders. So I've got six on the full in, on field in the forward line. So you can't have anyone other than that. Gordon Grundy is fine. I'm going to go... I think Wilson's probably going to score the most out of all of them. We've got Weir on the bye. I may change Sharp and Clark around. Not sure yet, but put him as emergency for the moment. Put Weir, take the emergency off Weir. You know, have one emergency on per line. And Hoare is the emergency. So the idea about Zach Reed is the conundrum I'm in. If I don't trade Zach Reed, he's at least four weeks away, at least, with his quad, uh, quad hamstring, whatever it is. He's perpetually injured, that bloke, unfortunately. So if I don't trade him, then he's just sitting on the bench. I'm not making any money at all. I could trade him to, say, Toby Pink from North, but what's his job security like? We don't know. Yes, he's going to make a lot of money after this. Is it worth burning a trade to bring in Toby Pink? Is he going to be a slow burn cash generation wise? Potentially. Is it worth using a boost on him? Uh, probably not. I think I've got, but having said that, the cash generation for the, the is basically on field at the moment for the defenders. The defenders are in all sorts. Um, so that's how I'm looking at the moment. Barring any changes, I may flick Reed to Toby Pink before North play their game. I'll have a bit of a think about that one. I'm going to go Dacos into Bont this week. That's my vice captain and captain options. All right, so that leaves me 22 on the field with most of the good rookies. Now I have Darcy, who I think is going to go really well. Got Tom Powell. Fingers crossed he works out. He's got his midfield minutes there. You can make us some cash. Same with Fisher. They could be at 500k-ish soon. Fingers crossed. And I've got Flanders and Cadman. So I've got some bit of depth there in the forward line now, which is good. If I could only solidify the defence a little bit. But I just don't know whether Toby Pink is the answer. And I've got Sheasel, McKercher, Fisher and Powell now. So it's probably too many North players. So I think I might hold Reed. Um, worst case, I'll flick him to, to Toby Pink or someone uh, if another defensive rookie shows up. So that's pretty much how I'm sitting at the moment for round three. All right, thanks very much. Let me know in the comment section what trades you're making and all the best for round three.